Good morning, YouTube. It's currently 12.33. I'm kind of tired, but I thought I would be cool and show y'all how to make the water droplet sound similar to Caked Up of What's in Caked Up's um, Thirsty. I uh, figured out how to make it, and or at least something similar. Sounds all, something along the lines of this. So let's get to it. Let's show you how to make that. Um, basically, if you don't have massive, this is very much pointless. Um, get massive, create a new sound. Everything should be reset. All you need, all you actually need, is just this one oscillator. Uh, put your filter into one. That way, it'll direct it into filter one. Uh, it's very important don't want really any kind of issue between the two filters. Um, so change the square saw wave into a crude wave. Um, very important. Uh, take it up two octaves or 24 semitones. Uh, wave table position all the way up. Intensity all the way up. Amp all the way up. Um, then you want to get one of the LFO things, doesn't really matter which one, I go for 7 because I don't know, I just do. Um, put that in there, take it down one octave, um, and from there you put it on to performer. Load the curve, uh, go for this one, that way I'll make the that kind of thing. Um, from there, you want to get the first envelope. It doesn't matter really which one. Um, put it into the wave table right there, all the way around this wave table knob. Um, you need to see much wrong with it. Uh, tap all the way down. Decay all the way down. Release, you want it right about there. Not too much complication with the release. And that's all you really need to do for the oscillator. So, go into the filter, put on low pass 4, uh, cut off all the way up, resonance all the way down. That's all you need to do for that. Um, FX, you want pellitude, you want to turn that right about there. Then you drive in place and actually put that up a little bit. You want to try to point it towards the R and this just towards the dry wet of this. Uh, second FX, you want dimension expander. Just want to take that right about there on both. That way it'll get that spatial feel to it. Turn your EQ on. Turn high shelf down all the way. You want this right about towards the Y and frequency. And that's really all there is to the synth itself. Um, kind of, kind of make. Okay, that's something that's right here. Um, Sink it up to 1 over 12. It's kind of why it didn't sound correct. But this is what it sounds like when it's done. It's 
doesn't really sound too convincing, but if you have FL, the things I would recommend to do, I've actually already made this as part of the song. Um, parametric, two parametric EQs, one looking along the line of this. Uh, second, this. Add a reverb to it. Nothing too fancy. We'll put a chorus on the make it sound a little bit better. Uh, compressor, nothing like that, and a limiter. So that's basically all there is to it. Again, this is what it sounds like. about it. Uh, this is Dirty Dubs. I'm glad to show you how to make that because I've been looking all over YouTube and have not been able to find it. So glad to learn it and share with y'all. Uh, again, this is Dirty Dubs. Signing off.